the flu is going around and I kind of had a scare last night. I'm feeling a little bit better today. Let's hope I'm not catching it. Hey Vapors, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Wismic Rouleau RX2 21700. <laughs> Alright guys, yes, today I'm looking at the RX2 21700, another rouleau by Wismic. And right here I have the purple gradient, and I was like, how is it gradient? Because from certain angles it looks brown, but then when you look at it straight on, you get the purple. So it's like a gradient purple, but it's like brown purple. It's so weird to me. I just noticed this, like picking it up off the table, I was like, oh my god, it changed colors, but it's just because of the angle I was looking at it with. And I do have one here for a giveaway for you guys. I believe this one is the green one. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned and I will tell you how to win a little bit later on in this video. But let's dive down close. I'll show you what the kit comes with and how to work the device. Here is the packaging that the Rouleau RX2 21700 comes in. And right on top, we do have a warning card about the batteries. I do have the Gradient Purple mod. It comes in glossy black, Gradient White, or Gradient Green. Underneath that, we have all the goodies. A micro USB to USB cable used for charging and upgrading firmware. Two 18650 sleeves because this can be dual 21700 or dual 18650. An extra coil. This is the WM02 dual coil. It's a 0.15 ohm. You can vape it between 30 and 70 watts, but it performs its best between 45 and 60 watts. And inside it has an extra drip tip, an extra glass tube. This is the 2 mil tube because the tank it comes with can be four or two mils and the gnome tank in the four mil mode an informational card about filling and the coil and a reference sheet for the coils a user's manual for the gnome tank and a user's manual for the rouleau rx2 21700 now here is the gnome tank it is a 25 millimeter diameter with a 510 pin. It is 45 millimeters tall and weighs about 51.8 grams. Like I said, it does have a 4 mil option, which it is currently in, or a 2 mil option to be TPD compliant. Here at the bottom, there are two airflow slots that are on stoppers, one on either side. To change out the coil, you just spin the base off and spin out the coil. The coil that is pre-installed is the WM01. This is a single coil, 0.4 ohms. You can vape this between 40 and 70 watts, but it performs its best between 50 and 60 watts. You can completely disassemble this tank for cleaning. This drip tip is removable since it does come with two. And to fill the tank is super easy. You just slide it back. You see where it says j -Bow? You just slide it back from there and you fill in this fill port. And today it should come as no surprise, I am filling up my tank with Bonsai Seasons. This is the Summit Kiss flavor. It's part of their winter collection. It's so freaking good. And if you wanna try this flavor or any of the other flavors on Bonsai Vapor's website, you can use my code TIA20 for 20% off your order. All right, so I got some e-liquid in there. I'm gonna go ahead and let this wick up while we take a look at the Wismic Rouleau RX2 21700. So this mod is 81.5 millimeters tall by 46.03 millimeters here and 37.1 millimeters this way. And it does weigh about 297 grams, but I'm not sure if that's with or without the batteries because it does come with two 21700 batteries. It has a 1.3 inch organic LED screen. At the top, we do have a 510 connection that is spring loaded. We have a big fire button on the front that says j -Bow. Here we have the up and down regulatory buttons and the micro USB port used for charging and upgrading the firmware. Now on the bottom, there is a little latch that you can push open and it springs open the bottom. And that has the two batteries. And there is like a little contact protector right here. You just peel off. That way it's safe in transport. 
So it's not on the bottom, but it's on the bottom of this one. So here are the 21700 batteries that it comes with. 4000 milliamp hour, 3.7 volts, and 30 amps. Let's go ahead and put them back in. You can see that it does display which way you need the batteries to go, minus and plus. There are the battery contacts on the mod and the battery contacts on the back case. And if you were to have the 18650 batteries, you would need to put the sleeves in. Here is the screen. It does display the output power mode, which right now it's on temperature for nickel, and the power level, as well as the type of temperature. It's currently in Celsius. It does Celsius or Fahrenheit. Here we have the wattage power, the ohms of the coil, which is zero because there's no coil on there, and a puffs counter the battery life for both batteries and you can see that when you try to fire it without an atomizer it says no atomizer found so three clicks to the fire button will let you change between temperature mode tcr mode or wattage mode you can see that that is flashing now and go over one it takes you to the tcr memory one or to power or back to temperature and if you press the minus button then you can select which temperature mode so you press the minus button and then the plus to toggle through titanium or stainless steel. If you press the back button again, it takes you to the wattage power, which you can adjust from 1 to 230 watts. And if you press the minus again, it will go to the coil, which you can do the coil lock. And then you can also change it from viewing the puffs to viewing a seconds counter or viewing the working amps back to puffs and you always press the fire button to select when you have what you want so one two three and then we push the plus button to go to TCR and then we push the minus button to select the memory mode and plus to go through the different memory modes that it has and then plus to go to wattage and that one's just wattage which can be adjusted from 1 to 230 watts when in wattage mode the resistance range should be no lower than 0.1 ohm and no higher than 3.5 ohm and in temperature mode it can go from 100 degrees celsius all the way up to 315 degrees celsius in five degree increments or 200 degrees fahrenheit to 600 degrees fahrenheit it does round robin when you get to the highest or lowest of each you can see that when you're at the highest celsius if you press plus again it goes to the lowest of fahrenheit and in fahrenheit it adjusts by 10 degrees so I didn't realize that, but in Celsius, it adjusts by five degrees. And when in temperature mode, you should have a resistance range no lower than 0 0.05 and no higher than 1.5 ohm. This does have an output voltage range of 0.5 volts to nine volts. If you press and hold the plus and minus button together at the same time, you go into key lock, press and hold those again to unlock. Press and hold the fire button and the plus button and you enter the menu mode where you can select the logo on and off, you can change the preheat ramp up, and you can change the timeout seconds for the screen. Press and hold the fire button and the minus button to turn the stealth mode on. Press and hold the fire button and the minus button again to turn stealth mode off. Five clicks to the power button powers the device on and off. So that is how to work the RX21700. Let me just get the gnome tank on here and we will vape it. Looks very nice. You guys wanna vape? Do you wanna vape? All right guys, my camera needs to focus, but that is the Wismic Rouleau RX2 21700. That's a very long name. Just like all the other Rouleaux, this is a big, bulky device. It has a lot of vaping power. I have already used the Gnome before on other Wismic, like the last Rouleau that I looked at. This does have a balanced battery charge system, so you can charge it through the device, but I still would recommend taking the batteries out and using an external charging bay. There's also an RBA section available. It doesn't come with the kit, but it is available sold separately if you want to use that in your Gnome. And it does have dual circuit protection for overcharge, over discharge, and overcurrent, as well as reverse polarity protection. God, bitch. Whew. And like I said, I've already used the gnome, so we all know how the gnome is going to perform. And this rouleau isn't that much different from the previous one, only this can hold two 21700 batteries or two 18650 batteries if that's all you have, because it does come with those sleeves. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo.
So if you want to win this one for yourself, all you have to do is before entering, check the description box below for all the important giveaway details. But it's as usual, after you subscribe to this channel, give this video a big thumbs up, share it anywhere on social media, and then comment down below which generation of Wismic Rouleau is your favorite. If you don't personally own a Wismic Rouleau of any sort, you can still tell me which one is your favorite, which one you'd hope to have most. If, if it's this one or if it's the Gen 3, let me know down in the comments below and then you're entered for the giveaway, but don't forget to check all the details below. I will leave a link below if you want to check this out now instead of waiting to see if you're the one lucky winner out of hundreds of people that are going to enter. So you can check the description box below if you just want to check it out for yourself now. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. I also started a Patreon account where I am doing vape-related monthly rewards over there. Some of the top tiers include getting e-liquid or mods sent to you monthly from me. These are the mods and e-liquids that I looked at last year that I no longer use, so if that's something that interests you, you can check the link below as well. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching. Just when I thought the rouleaux couldn't get any heavier, they put two 21700 batteries in here. It's heavy.